And are these bandits likely to return? No, no. I overheard them saying they were going to ride for Karakorum. Karakorum? That used to be to the north on the Great Step. It still is, Bob. Well, the sooner we leave here, the better. But, Marco... This oasis is dangerous, Barbara. We must leave here as soon as possible. Marco, we're all in need of rest, and the doctor is still very weak. We will stay here until tomorrow morning, no longer. Please tell us. <laughs> what amuses you? You don't uh, really believe their story, do you? Of water forming inside a caravan? Yes. I know it to be true. I think I can repair the circuit in a week. Maybe less. We're leaving here tomorrow. Oh, we're always rushing around. Great Marcus. stress would do us all a lot of good. Marco's worried about bandits. Oh, rubbish. Garner said there were some here last night. <sighs> if they were, they were very clean about it. What do you mean? If last night was very cold. But there's no sign of a fire having been lit. No, perhaps they didn't want anyone to know they'd been here. Yes, that may be. I think Tagana just used the bandits as an excuse for not coming back to us with water. Maybe. Well, the thing to do is to ask Tagana. Ask Tagana what? Yes, indeed. Ask Tagana what? Hmm, I wonder. So, the first of the missing stories. Yes, Marco Polo. I think that was the third episode, 500 Eyes, possibly by John Luca Rotti, if memory serves correctly. Uh, really love the costumes, uh, really, um, really impressed with that. Uh, Doctor looks like he needs a bit of a haircut, but uh, it's probably been very hot in the desert, so maybe not every curl is doing exactly what he wanted um, but it just looks a great story doesn't it what a gem to be missing maybe it's out there somewhere surely I have to admit it is a story I would really love to see found um, it's always had great reviews in books and magazines um, but yeah, really impressed with that. Um, yeah, I'm going to shed a, a small tear for Marco Polo. <laughs>